Thanks for joining me on this tour of colonial Calcutta, or Calcutta, and Calcutta today. Today, Calcutta is a vibrant city, the commercial and financial hub of Eastern India. When I visited it for a week in 1975, it seemed okay, but when I visited again in the mid-1990s, it was seriously in decline. Most of the shops had their own electrical generators and there was massive construction uh, in the streets, making them impassable. During my first visit, I was a backpacker and stayed on Sutter Street. The second visit, I stayed at the Eastern Oriental Hotel, which was a great disappointment, but it was very central and located very near Chowaringi Street and Park Street, the center of the old city. Calcutta is located on the northeastern side of India, next to Bangladesh. It was very early a colony of England under the East Indian Company. This satellite photograph shows its location on the Hooghly River draining into the Bay of Bengal. A modern map which shows the very densely uh, populated nature of this area. Moving closer to Calcutta or Kolkata, you can see the neighborhood, the neighboring towns. A satellite photograph of the city on the west side of the river. This map shows railways and transportation routes. More railways and transportation. An early 19th century map showing the city under the British Raw. More of the same 19th century maps. I became interested in uh, Calcutta, probably because of its popularity in uh, the media. I'd seen the uh, play, Old Calcutta. I'd seen lots of posters about Calcutta. Of course, Mother Teresa was always in the news. Here's a Marvel comic. There were lots of books and newspaper articles about Mother Teresa and her work with the poor in Calcutta. And Calcutta featured in other literature as well. The Calcutta cookbook I found to be excellent. I'd read tourist information about Calcutta and there were lots of things to see, not least the Indian Museum. St. Paul's Cathedral, the National Library, and of course the Victoria Memorial. I wanted to see Government House, an early 19th century um, castle, the seat of the Viceroys of India, and later taken over by the Governor of Bengal. This satellite photograph shows the layout of Government House. An early 19th century postcard of Government House. My father's a keen stamp collector and he had lots of stamps about Calcutta. A drawing of Calcutta. A very early uh, painting of Calcutta under the British East Indian Company. It was a major port for that trading company. an engraving at the time of the British East India Company. Public buildings. We're now going to take a quick look at colonial postcards of 19th century Calcutta under British rule. This is the General Post Office under the British. St. Paul's Cathedral. 
the uh, Stuart Bailey statue in Dalhousie Square. A picture of the Hoogley River and the port around 1947. Another early postcard of public buildings in Calcutta or Kolkata under the British rule. The Mahomedian Merhararam Festival. Sorry about the pronunciation. A collection of old postcards showing the numerous British colonial buildings of the 19th century. Pictures of the British in the late 19th century. Life looked quite peaceful and enjoyable. This is a Kitchener statue. Bathing steps in the Hooghly River at the Calicat Temple. The Tara Temple on the upper circular road. You've had enough of colonial buildings. Let's move on to the people of Calcutta. Here's a, a 19th century photograph of a dancer. British visitors. An unwed, very young teenage mum not much more than 13, I think. Uh, photograph taken by uh, a US government photographer in 1947. A snake charmer. Another 1947 photograph with a snake charmer. And things haven't changed yet. A current photograph of pretty much the same. This is the flower market and showing off flowers. A lady of Kolkata. In late uh, 1975, early 1976, I stayed in a backpacker's hostel on Sutter Street, shown here. A street vendor with her cat preparing bread, a lady on the street asking for money. People of Kolkata very often appear quite happy. School books for the young boy. School children hard at work. An older porter Cooking on the street. Models of women for sale. I move on to the uh, Victoria Memorial, which is a principal uh, site for tourists. It's a lovely building in a lovely park. 
and it looks really tremendous at night. Look at this. Road workers. Road work is still quite primitive. Calcutta in 1947, looking at the Hooghly. Another 1947 photograph showing the streets. An early postcard of the Writers' Building, which is the government building today. Yet another postcard of a street scene from early 1900. Things look fairly slow uh, and quiet in these 1920s, 1930 pictures, not like today. Showing the tram cars, Perhaps 1947. Let's move on to the streets of Calcutta today. The typical ambassador's uh, cab. They're tremendously crowded. And in the 1990s, I was in a wheelchair. It was hard work getting around. Some of the poorer areas. There are a lot of these areas in Kolkata. A typical street scene. Back to Suter Street. Head of coffee at the blue sky. And a picture of Suter Street. Typical Kolkata street scene. More streets in Kolkata, showing the ubiquitous tramway. Another tramway. Kolkata now has a modern underground subway. Trams aren't the only way to get around. Kolkata is one of the few cities where you can still get a ride with a human uh, porter. Backbreaking work, showing these. An amazing scene. A traffic jam of uh, cabs approaching the Hoogley Bridge. There are fairly good roads in Kolkata. Now a glance at the railway. Here's a satellite photograph of the Central Railway Station next to the Hoogley Bridge. All aboard around 1947. The uh, railway today. A satellite image of the Hoogley Bridge next to the railway. It looks like this from the riverbank. And now we're driving across it to the train station. A picture of Kolkata, not the Eiffel Tower, it's a communications tower. I drop in to look at the National Library, which is like the Union Library in the United States. It contains copies of all the books in India. I visit the Indian Museum. It's over a hundred years old, having been founded by the British occupation. It's got loads of things, and I'm not going to spend very long. Uh, it's got a painting gallery. A painting of a Persian boy. A recent acquisition, a musical instrument. Let's finish up with the Kolkata of the future. It's... Uh, experiencing a considerable prosperity since the year 2000 and sections of Kolkata are being rebuilt. Here is a high rise project in the south city of Kolkata. Drawings of architects show this sort of scene. Having been there, I know that it's heavily uh, polluted. It's hard to see a few hundred meters with the uh, smog so the picture is not very accurate. Thanks for joining me in this visit to Kolkata, dear viewer. I hope you enjoyed it and have a really lovely day.
Goodbye.